All right, guys, so welcome to part three of hide and seek game series. So this is last part of this game. We actually finished our game, so we just need to write some few codes and game will completely finish. So don't forget this game is just basic one. So maybe in future I will update and of course I will try to share with you of new updates. So after we check how many players are in game now, if it's more than two, we will start game and write this for loop in your code. Let me zoom in. We actually give 10 seconds to start the game. And after 10 seconds, so we will repeat every one second, count down 10 seconds to start the game. And of course, we will return a text called game starting in dot dot i dot dot seconds that's me 10 seconds so let's check out is that working or not uh okay the it's not working because i think we forgot to call our game loop function so stop your game and go back to script here write game loop under player added so now play again yeah you see there is a warning says not enough players two players needed so of course we can run with roblox studio stop your game and go to test make two players here and click on start so that will run to roblox studio all right we can close this you see it's counting the seconds now it's two one okay so this works perfectly so now we can continue so first let's select a seeker in game under this for loop let's make a random write local random player index and choose one we will get players from players list so write local seeker write table clear game players and we will run a for loop again for i player in so here write get players write players get players and write if i equal equal to random players random player index and then player find first child and say is seeker and make it true value equal to true write else player find first child is seeker at value equal to false this is if there is a seeker we will make it false because we have new seeker now so write table dot insert game players player now it's time to showing the seeker text who is the seeker so go back to your code under for loop let's first fire to replicated storage show seeker text okay so we will fire the event right remote show seeker fire clients seeker go to your starter gui and go to seeker text you will see we will get if the player is seeker so say you are the seeker if not show the seeker name and tell the players who is the seeker now let's run application again to see the result Okay, countdown is working now. Okay, you are the seeker. Player 2 is the seeker. So, works perfectly. So now let's go back to code. Let's make seeker can't move until the hiders will hide themselves. So for this, uh, make seeker.character humanoid root part make it anchor true. So this will make a seeker can't move so make a for loop again or i equal to time to high this is 10 seconds also let's make the 10 to 15 that will be better because i think we can't see all things with 10 seconds so let's go back make 0 dot minus 1 do so wait for one second let's return a message the seeker will be released in seconds so that will be countdown 15 seconds after countdown finished 
make seeker and card here false so run your game to see the result so let's see who will be a seeker okay you are the seeker so it is a seeker so with this player i can move but with player two i can't move i can't jump so it should work after countdown finished yeah i can move now so perfect it's working all right so it's time to make the seeker when touched other players to remove from the game and they will also freeze can't move till the game will loop so let's write this code also write for i dot character and get children so write if part is a mesh part or base part like the seeker will touch write also a function called part dot touched like seeker will touch any part like mesh part or base part and connect with a function get it with if if hit dot parent first child is humanoid then and make a local variable local player get player from character hit dot parent if player and not player first child is seeker like it is a player but not a seeker then we will return to spawn location and also we should remove from the player list so write a for loop again and write for i v in players game players do if b equal equal to player then table dot remove game players dot i and break so when it's removed it should break so let's test this all right so let's wait to start the game all right i am the seeker and i'm flying now so let's hide this player also air is good okay game started so let's find him yeah when i touched him you see it is went to from spawn location and also let's make it freeze can't move so copy this code from here and write player dot character humanoid root part and curd make it true okay so now it's time for making game time and after game time finished loop the game again so i will copy paste my for loop so there is on top game time that is 15 seconds and we will check if there is game players just one like if there's just seeker so that's mean seeker found all hiders we will give points to seeker and set up the game game loop and return and also if not we say the game is ending 15 seconds and how much players are alive like not found in yet and we return this also also let's give points if hiders win the game first we show the text and after that we give the players that are alive the points and in the end we should set up the game and loop the game again and remember uh, this one it should be points not tokens also for hiders should change and also for here change to point so now we can actually run our game and game completely is finished okay game is starting so i can move with both of these players okay this player is seeker and let's hide this player here so i can't move two one okay now i can move so let's find this player all right so we can move again and game is looping so game is completely finished it everything is working perfectly
so i hope you loved my series so thanks for following my tutorials see you in next video